Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start working on this 1985 Mercedes 300D turbo diesel. This thing's got, I think he said like 320,000 miles on it. He's trying to sell it. And the rear window, pretty much all of these have this problem. They all leak real bad. So I'm gonna try to remove this adhesive. It's single stage paint. He wants to polish it out. He wants to sell it. I mean, I recommend it against doing anything because he's going to literally try to sell it and it needs paint and body work and all of that. However, he insisted that we polish it. So that's fine. I can definitely remove the oxidation, uh, make it glossier, more presentable. And that is absolutely the plan. Get those wheels cleaned up best I can. And then uh, he gave me the touch-up paint, which I'm going to use just to uh, flake off some of this rust and then fill it in make it look better um, again this is just a putting a band-aid on a a turd but it is what it is it's what he requested so that's what i'm going to do and i'm hoping with the polish i'm going to use my evo all-in-one i'm hoping with the po actually i may use my grip launch all-in-one i don't know uh, grip launch all-in-one is a little bit more aggressive um, but you get a better finish and slickness and protection with the evo all-in-one so I'm hoping that just the abrasive and the polish will remove some of this rust. Some of these rust spots here. It's a good car, besides all the rust. So, we got some silicone in here and whatnot. But today I'm gonna put you on a tripod and I'm gonna just show you me at work. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all my stuff out of the van and get started. All right, so I just did one section pass right here with the grip launch all-in-one polish with sealant. Got great results from this cracked up, old, faded, oxidized paint. You see the difference. I put masking tape here. You can see the two sides of the tape. So I put the tape right here. You can see the definitive gloss line here versus the oxidation line there. And then the same here. Glossy, oxidized, put tape right here. So you can see the difference for sure. Awesome results. I'm using the uh, Harbor Freight Dual Action Polisher as usual uh, with the yellow Buff and Shine uh, polishing pad and it's yielding awesome results. Very happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on cranking around this thing and I'll put you on the tripod so you can get some uh, real views of me at work. Uh, I went ahead and pulled one of those pieces of tape from the back. This is how I like to save tape, is I'll literally pull it off of a section and I'll put it on another section so that I don't go through too much tape. This is, uh, what tape am I using right now? Um, I don't even know where it went. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I think it's the uh, Rust-Oleum stuff from Walmart. No, I think that's orange. I'll find the roll and I'll let you know what tape it is. But anyway, to save tape, that's a good tip for saving tape. Um, I ripped this one off and then I saved this other one and put it here on the door. So it's just a way to save tape. I do that same stuff around headlights when I restore the headlights as well. So um, I'm going to keep cranking. Looks like I'm getting the results I'm looking for. I'm sure the owner will be happy. I don't feel like he's going to get any of this money back out of this car, but you can see oxidation, oxidation, glossification, boom. All right, so I'm moving right along with the Grip Launch All-in-One Polish with Sealant. This is a lineup of products specifically designed for the general consumer up to the high-end pro that wants, well, more of the production-oriented pro. Uh, the higher-end uh, boutique-type detailer might want some of my other lines. Um, we didn't skimp on 
raw materials we just didn't buy the super high-end ones that we have in all of the other products or all the other lines I was able to save cost on raw materials creating this lineup um, and I'll tell you what you, you really can't go wrong purchasing any of these products they work just as well as the rest of the stuff they're just different that's all um, so anyway check out my grip launch lineup if you're a general consumer this is this lineup will allow you to go straight to your car no diluting just take the bottle straight to your car and use it uh, and beyond that um, you're gonna save a bunch of money uh, you're still gonna get great results um, you just don't get the results you get with the other stuff uh, I think that it's in your best interest to try out the grip launch lineup uh, compare it to everybody else's stuff uh, and I've got some really cool promotions going on on the grip launch line coming up very soon so watch out for that so I'm using the uh, Harbor Freight DA obviously uh, it's really the only DA that I use and this is the uh, buff and shine six inch uh, Euro cell blue pad so I'm just putting some polish on the pad here and I've actually polished this door and that quarter panel but I'll show you what's happening here um, I'm running between five and six on the speed uh, medium pressure about 25 pounds of pressure and uh, medium pace Um, if you guys have watched my videos before, then you know I'm a huge fan of uh, my section pass is three passes. One up and down, one side to side, another one up and down, and then I wipe and move on. Not spending a ton of time, on, especially on this single stage paint. I'm looking to get a little bit of gloss and move straight along. Nothing fancy. Um, one pro tip I will give you. is uh and i was thinking should i shoot another video i think i won't i mean this is going to be primarily about the grip launch all-in-one i actually tried evo all-in-one as well the grip launch all-in-one has a larger chunk abrasive in it and it's seeming to cut better uh on this particular paint but one of my tips for you guys on this particular job is when you go on single stage paint a lot of times the polish will soak right into the paint so even if when you get done with your section pass and you try to wipe it off it's going to be hard because the polish is going to dry a little bit uh on the on top of the pores of the paint and uh even with a detail spray and a dry towel it's difficult to remove that stuff but i have found that with a towel soaked in my infinite use detail juice uh and then wrung out so a damp towel removes any and all of the polish residue and really leaves a great finish. So that's exactly what I'm doing here, is I've got a damp towel and I just wipe the panel with that. Notice on this lip right here, this little edge, I'm trying to use the edge of the pad right here. And I'm bearing down on the edge of the pad as it goes by the, uh, the door handle. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the edge of the pad underneath the handle.
as they say, is that. Notice all this polish residue on these handles. I'm going to try to get some of that off, but I didn't do it. This was on there from whoever polished the car last. It's coming off pretty easily, but uh, at the end, I'll take some of my IPC and uh, try to get it off. But So you see the tape. So now you see a tape line of, I'm sure you can see it in the uh, video there. I got it where the angle is, is quite right. All of this is glossy now. And this is not so let me make sure you can see it in the video let's see. let's see if I can get you where you can see a big difference you can definitely see the tape line But I'm going to keep working. But that's where we're at. That's a pro tip for the day is a damp towel will remove all that extra polish residue. You can't get out easily with just a detail spray or whatever and water. So <clears throat> oh, I'm going to keep cranking. I use a little bit extra polish when I'm doing single stage as well because the oxidation is going to basically soak up a lot of the, the polish so I want to use a little bit extra. There we go. So I'm gonna keep working around the car and I'll bring you back periodically to see what's going on. I won't bore you with the rest of this, but the reality is you can polish your own paint at home. The average Joe can go pick up a $60 Harbor Freight dual action polisher, come to my site, buy a backing plate and some pads and some polishes and go straight in and get amazing results with no problem at all. So check out detailjuice.com for my polishes and all my other products. If you've got questions for me on any of this stuff, I'd be more than happy to help you out. 813-846-4406 uh, is my personal cell phone. Nobody else on the planet that owns a detailing product line gives you his own personal, the owner, his personal cell phone number for customer service like I do. Nobody else does that. So I'm gonna get back to work and we'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, boys and girls, this old Mercedes is done. I just sprayed the tires down with some diluted transform dressing. You can see that it's nice and glossy now, which is what we were aiming for, just to bring the gloss back. I definitely did not do a professional repair back here. Uh, the owner gave me the touch up paint and he said, just cover up this mess. So I said, okay. So basically, uh, this is actually a 3M tape that I'm using. Automotive performance masking tape by 3M. This is, I think, an inch and a half. It's usually what I use, inch, inch and a half. Anyway, so I just uh, covered up the seal so that when I pull it off, it's even 
doesn't look all blobby. I mean, it definitely looks blobby, don't get me wrong. But unfortunately, I just had to cake it on there to get rid of some of that rust. I flaked it off as much as I could, but it's pretty deteriorated. And if I started flaking it off even more, it would just end up being a huge hole and ain't nobody got time for that, especially me. So I'm gonna just let that sit there and dry. I gotta go take care of something else real quick and then I'm gonna come back and do another vehicle for this, this same gentleman. But you can see, it's got gloss. Definitely doesn't look brand new. However, it does look better than it did. He's, like I said, he's trying to sell it. So we'll see how that goes. It's a little bit more presentable. But again, this is a 1985 300d turbo diesel mercedes benz i got the wheels cleaned up pretty good i don't carry acid with me generally or i could get those wheels cleaned even better it's not a not a fan of those harsh chemicals per se um, everything in my line is eco-friendly and safe for you to use uh, i used to have an acid that could be used on boats and uh, also diluted for wheels and stuff but i discontinued that i just didn't really want something so nasty in my lineup so she looks a little better again i don't i don't believe for one second the owner is going to get his money back out of this and uh, as i promised you guys before i'm going to start telling you how much i'm charging for these jobs uh essentially i did a rinseless wash with the gary dean wash method if you're not familiar with what that is just google it it's it's a thing anyway so i i did a rinseless wash i cleaned the wheels really well with ipc in fact if i had some tiger's blood with me i'd probably could have got them a little cleaner than that but they look good they look presentable uh and then to be perfectly honest with you i didn't even bother clay in this car um i gave him a discounted price uh, i generally would charge 350 for an all-in-one polish uh, i charged this gentleman 250 for this car it took me about two and a half three hours total not a bad deal not a not a bad cost to profit ratio i used uh just some infinite use detail juice to wash the car and then i used just a little bit of tape and then uh, my grip launch all in one polish with sealant was what i used to polish this thing which it did a, a great job and uh, that professional tip I gave you earlier about using a damp towel, towel to wipe off the polish res residue is really a champion tip. Um, I mean, it really does a great job of removing the excess, especially on these single stage paints where the, the uh, polish is soaking into the uh, surface of the paint. Got the roof done really well. I cleaned up a lot of the trim, but it was pretty stained from somebody else polishing it before me. So that's it. Um, a lot of the rust spots did come off. However, I can't remove that emblem for what I'm charging to get in there. So it is what it is. But this is where we're at with the paint. From here, it doesn't look bad. Up close definitely looks like I gobbed it on because I did now this is a perfect example guys if you're if you're looking to make some money detailing or even if you're gonna do something for a friend or whatever this is a perfect example of prep for sale you do the least amount that you can do to make it look more presentable than it does uh, and you can charge as little as the little bit of work you did so for 250 bucks, he definitely got a full polish to enhance the gloss, remove all the oxidation and whatnot. And like I said, I cleaned the wheels and touched up those uh, rust areas. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. If you need me, let me know. If I can help you in your detailing endeavors, or if you've got a product question from detailjuice.com, 
You can either submit a email through the site or you can contact me directly. Uh, texting is usually the best way. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.